And right now, we have some questions in the chat box that I want to cover, some really, really great questions. Uh, one of them I read says, What if I feel like my heart is too rusted to be cleaned? I know I am doing major sins and cannot clean them. How can I repent? I do not feel any close to Allah. I do not know how to repent. I do not know how to repent, how to feel I am guilty. So this is the sense that I was sort of talking about earlier. It's that feeling of, it's just, I've done too many bad things. I can't go back to Allah. I can't repent. And this is, again, this is a waswasa. This is a whispering from shaitan himself because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is greater than your sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is greater than your sins. That's what we have to remember. When we minimize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy, that's when we feel this way. We have to understand that Allah's mercy is infinite. And your sins are finite. Your sins are limited. There's a, there is, it's not infinite. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, although you might feel like there's so many, um, they still are not greater than the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah Himself tells us in the Hadith Qudsi that even if your sins were to fill, you know, to, to reach the sky and fill the area between the heavens and the earth, and you were to come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sincerely, and, and this is very important, associating no partners with Him, that He would give you back forgiveness as big as the sins, as big as that area, right? That we talk between the heavens and the earth. And that, and every time that we do that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we are sincere, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not get tired of forgiving. Remember that Allah is not like a human being. This is one of our major problems is we don't really understand who Allah is, what Allah is. And we tend to, you know, use the rules that work with humans with Allah. And this is a problem because Allah is not like a human. A human being gets tired of forgiving. You know, I can wrong, I can wrong a person only so many times and keep saying sorry, keep saying sorry. And then I do the same thing again. I do the same thing again. You know, like I can hit your car only so many times and say sorry before you're like, I'm not going to forgive you anymore. You need to stop, right? So the idea here is that Allah isn't like that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no matter, we could commit the same sin over and over and over. And as long as we are sincere and we return back to Him, Allah does not get tired of forgiving. Allah is not like a human being. There's nothing like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing like His mercy and His forgiveness. So we should never think that. And again, remember that that thought itself is from shaitan. Say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim. And look away from your sins and look instead at Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's mercy. And focus instead on Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's mercy. And when you do that, you will find that your sins are still less than Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's mercy. So, you know, one of the beautiful statements uh, is of, of one of the predecessors is that I looked at my sins and I found them to be so many. But then I looked at the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I looked at and I found it to be greater. And that's the point is no matter how big our sins are, Allah's mercy is always greater. The other thing is that when you repent to Allah, you know, you're, you, you make, you, you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you, to clean your heart. But you have to make sure that you are you know, doing, you know, again, I want to emphasize because if you're doing this and you're not praying, you're not praying or you're not praying on time, then what you're doing is, is you are, this is, this is a commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's, it's an appointment that, that we have with Allah and we are, we are missing that appointment every single day. If we are missing that appointment and then we say, but we want to get close to Allah, that it doesn't work. You can't, you can't say that. I'm going to, you know, you know, if you want to have a relationship with someone and they have set an appointment with you, uh, and every single time they set the appointment, you don't go, you don't show up, or you show up late. Uh, you know, you're not, you're probably not going to be very convincing in your desire for a relationship with that person. Uh, you have to be keeping that appointment to show that you want to get closer to Allah. And that is the pathway. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it the first step. And it is the first thing that you're asked about on the day of judgment. And in fact, it is what distinguishes a Muslim from a non-Muslim. So this is extremely important. When we talk about, we can talk about all different acts 
acts of worship, we can talk about all different types of sin. But when it comes to the salah, this is a different level. This is the thing that distinguishes, as the Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith, Sahih hadith, this is what distinguishes a Muslim from a non-Muslim. So you have to begin with the salah if you want to make any kind of real change, if you if you want to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.